Okay everyone, so in this video we're gonna learn how to overclock this RTX 3070 for increased hash rate when mining for Ethereum using the algorithm ETash. So let's do this. Okay, so right now we can see in my mining software T-Rex that my Asus RTX 3070 gives about 52.04 megahash per second. We have a Celsius degree of 66 and we have a power of 179 watts and we have fan speed 73%. All right, so what we want to do in this tutorial, we want to increase the hash rate from 52 to about 60. So we can mine more Ethereum and make more money. All right, so we're gonna use the MSI Afterburner Okay, so this is the MSI Afterburner. If you don't have it, I will show you where to get it. Okay, so to get MSI Afterburner, just open up a browser and go to google.com. And in the search, we're gonna just search for MSI Afterburner. Choose this one, MSI Afterburner, with the URL msi.com. And after that, you should find this button, Download Afterburner. So all you have to do is just click on download Afterburner and install this uh, software so you can follow this tutorial and overclock your RTX 3070 GPU. Okay, so now you have your Afterburner installed. We can see that we have the RTX 3070 right here. If you want to change the GPU, just click right here and you can change to another GPU and change setting for that GPU. In this tutorial, we're gonna focus on RTX 3070. So as you can see we have a power limit of 100, we have a temp limit 83, we have a core clock 0, memory clock 0 and we have a fan speed on auto at 73%. So what we want to do now to increase the hash rate we want to lower the power limit. So we just click on the number and now we can enter a number, so we're gonna enter 60 and hit enter, like that. And after that we're gonna go to this one, core clock, and we're gonna lower this to minus 502, like that. And after that we got memory clock. So this one you can increase by 40 each time and see if everything is stable. But I have already checked this, so with my 3070, we're gonna do 1100 plus. So I'm gonna click on this uh, zero, I'm gonna do 1100 and hit enter. You can try this as well and see if this works for you. Otherwise, lower the memory clock until you get a stable mining experience, all right? So let's say this is too much for you, you can just do maybe 800, do enter, and click on check mark. And if everything is stable, you can try 840 and move your way up. All right. So in my case, I already know my card is stable at 1100, hit enter. And after that, we're going to go and click on this one, auto, to change fan speed to 75 like that and after that we are just gonna click on check mark and this will apply these settings to your 3070 RTX GPU all right so let's go and have a look how much we will get out from this RTX 3070 okay so after I check the check mark let's see what happens so right now we can see the 3070 at 52.05 MHz per second and we have a 67 uh, uh, Celsius degree and we have a power of 181 watts and a fan speed of 75%. So already we see an increase, we now have 56 uh, megahertz per second, we have 62 Celsius the power limit have decreased to 143 watts and we have the same fan speed because it's preset to 75%. 
All right, so already we have 60.01 megahertz per second, and we're down to 60 uh, Celsius, and the power is 143 watts. And just have a look at one more, and boom, we have 60.68 megahertz per second. That's about a 12 to 13 percent increase in your hash rate for the RTX 3070. Okay everyone, so this is how you get uh, over 60 MHz per second on your RTX 70. If you like this one, give a thumbs up, leave a comment below and also check out my other videos. Have an awesome day, take care and bye.